Hey guys, this is Jace though with Magic Spell Slingers, a PC and mobile game uh, that is basically Magic Hearthstone with some changes and I'm enjoying it so far, but this video is just going to go into what is a team and why you should join a team even if you're antisocial like me and don't want to bother with anyone else in a game, especially like a card game like this one. So when you join a team and after you do the tutorial, which is known as the training yard, once you get to step five and you finish that off, that will tell you to join a team. So you'll have two options. You'll either be able to create a team or join a team. So for 500 gold, I think that's the cost. You can join it. You can make your own team. But I suggest just joining a team that already has some members. But in order to get the most out of this, you got to make sure your members are active. And then another pro tip I would definitely recommend at least is you can when you make a team, you can set it by league. And leagues are what solo mode is for. So, for example, let's go into the league I'm in. So, I'm in Silver League. So, you start at Play League when you first start the game. And then as you win games in Standard Mode, you go to Bronze, Silver, etc. I would definitely suggest getting to at least Silver, which is easy to get to. It's not too hard. You can definitely do it as a free-to-play. But once you get to Silver, you'll have more options for teams. Because I suggest not joining any team that has its settings set to bronze or play. Why? Because this is mostly public teams. There's private teams you can join, but you have to ask for permission to join. But for public teams, if it's set to bronze or play, that means a lot of players who just join the game, play for five seconds and quit, don't do anything in the guild, and then, if, and then the guild master is most likely inactive, which means they're not kicking out people in the guild. So even though you're in a 25-man team, you're actually in a four-man team because only four players are playing. So for two weeks, I actually had to do all the team dailies by myself. We'll get to that in a second. So definitely grind up to silver and then look for a team in the roster. So you would just go to the search teams and you can see there's all different kinds of teams with different members and public, private, etc. And it'll also tell you what the required league is. So for example, like this one, it says play. I would avoid like the plague. I mean, most of them are going to say play because people just don't know. But... Some also require discords and they'll tell you ahead of time so if you do use discord it definitely helps out. So why do you want an active team? You want an active team because you want these donation requests to be flowing. So basically with a donation what you do is you click the donate button and you donate some of your shards that you get from disenchanting or whatever you call it, dusting your cards and you can donate it for some gold. And while it does seem kind of, you know, annoying to lose some of your gems or shards in the process, it's actually very worth it if you have an active team, because you can just get it right back by going to Request Materials. So I'm going to click Request Materials. So we click this, so for example, the I'm not going to go into the crafting, but basically every color and magic and spell has its own resource, so the crafting system kind of blows it takes quite a long time to be able to craft anything but if you have an active team it definitely helps out with that so i want a blue creature so i'm gonna click on this blue thing so blue anima reduces the cost of blue creatures by 10 i'm gonna click request so when i click that uh they have i think eight hours i'm not sure if it's on a time limit because i know sometimes these don't get fully completed and every time someone donates you get one of those blue animas and then and that counts for 10 of a basically it's basically one anima equals 10 shards basically of that type so if somebody fills it out if you have an active team you get 15 shards for free just by clicking the thing you, you know you can be sneaky and not donate to anybody but you know that's kind of <laughs> it's kind of a bad move but yeah and that's how you get all the crafting materials really quickly and then another thing another reason why you want to join a team is the challenges and you get three challenges every five days. They're random, but it's usually play a certain amount of a colored card. And then win 25 games with a certain planeswalker. Now, why do you want to have an active team? Because I tried doing this by myself in dead guilds. And it's like four hours of playing the bot over and over and over again. It's mind-numbing. And then if you don't have the planeswalker, you got to waste your keys on the new planeswalkers. But you get, you know, three free packs. Every five days, you basically get, like, either a massive amount of shards or you get some free packs. So right here, six free packs. You don't even have to help, <laughs> technically, with the day, with the challenges. But if you're an active team, you know, you get it like that. So we'll click it. 
So for example, somebody did 25 with Vivian. I think I only did two of those games. So I got three rewards. And then lastly, is you'll get the dual teammate, uh, what do you call it, challenge. This one's kind of annoying because you have to be on at the same time as somebody else who's random. So unless you're in like a Discord guild, it can be a problem. But you get a free pack, which is like 3,500 gold. for just, And the teammate gets it too. So that means any of your teammates who get that quest on that day, you can just, you know, you can duel them and get a free pack. So you have, so let's say your guild is super active, you have 25 opportunities to get free pack every day just from somebody getting their quest and you just duel them for fun. And that duel counts towards your team challenges. So definitely very worth it to join a, a group. I didn't do it when I first started this game, so I was like, what is this? What's the point of this? But you know, you just gotta find an active one. So I definitely recommend hit silver or find one that has Discord. Join the Discord and you can get started. I mean without teams, I think the crafting system is absolutely horrendous. Cause like it's just it's just so slow. But with a team you're able to do it and then you can also chat and do other stuff. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I haven't done a video in a long time. <laughs> but I hope this makes some sense to you guys who are playing this game. So feel free to check out Magic Spell Slingers. And make sure you join some good teams and get the... What do you call it? There's nothing more satisfying than having like five or six of these donation things up at once. So, you know, get to donating. You know, be a... You know, get your good karma. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. See you later.